Hello everyone, welcome again. So, in in my last video, we have talked about how we are connected to the internet. So, I explained that through this diagram, and in, in today's video, we'll learn about the wires through which the data flows. So, like uh, in this case, you can see in the in our home net network, we are connected wirelessly to our Wi-Fi access point. But uh, instead of using that wireless access point, we can also use uh, LAN cables to connect our TVs and PCs and printers, not, not the mobile phone. Actually, we can also connect our mobile phone using LAN. Uh, for that case, you will need one USB Type-C or USB, a micro USB to LAN converter. And these, these wires, we'll learn about these wires uh, in detail uh, within a few minutes. But uh, before that note uh, this thing as well all these routers and switches and uh, other networking devices most of these supports the cat cable or the lan cable that ends with the rg45 connector and uh, optical fiber uh, termination is not available in case of all the not networking devices for example uh, if uh, these two routers are connected through optical fiber cable because uh, optical fiber is the fastest medium for uh, transmitting data these two routers uh, routers don't actually have a termination point for the optical fiber cables in that case uh, you need to have a modem where the optical fiber connection will terminate and from that modem you need to connect the cat cable or lan cable towards the router so now let's come to the presentation so primarily there are three types of cables used in uh, computer networking the uh, most widely used uh, cable is the twisted pair and uh, th uh, there are two types of twisted pair cables one is shielded and one is unshielded so based on different scenarios we use shielded and unshielded version so whenever there is any interference uh, there's a high chance of interference we use the shielded one and uh, in in our home networks we don't have much uh, chances for interference so in, in our home networks we use the unshielded one and this is also known as the cat cable or lan cable and uh, all of your networking devices like pcs uh, switches and uh, printers these are having one termination point or one connector to uh, connect to these type of cables so we were uh, you must be familiar with uh, this uh, cable so this is the twisted pair cable shielder and unshielded so this uh, this cable has four pairs of twisted cable and the connector that you can see is, uh, is a very popular connector and it's known as the RJ45 connector. This is the connector that uh, uh, that gets connected directly to your PC and laptop. If you see the back side of your personal computer and, and uh, the side of your laptop, you will see uh, the port available to get connected to this uh, wire. The next type of cable is coaxial cable. You are also familiar with this type of cable because almost uh, each one of us are having television in, at home and uh, all the televisions are having this connector because previously 20 30 years ago uh, we used to have a cable connection that used to terminate uh, at, in our televisions so that cable connection the wire that used to connect to the televisions is this coaxial cable and the connector is and now it is also the set of boxes that you use uh, the wire that comes from the antenna to your set of box is also a coaxial cable and then the set of box converts that uh, signal to digital form and then transmits to your tv via hdmi or audio video connectors and uh, now let's come to the most important uh, cable and because the, uh, the why i'm calling it most important because the entire world is connected through this cable you can say that is the fiber optic cable so the continents are actually connected through connected to internet through these fiber optic cables which has been implemented under the sea 
and by all the organizations and companies they they have come together and they implement this line and this line is shared among all the organizations and companies and internet service providers all of all of them are using this uh, cables to connect from one continent to another con continent and uh, and uh, one very good example of fiber optic cable would be if you look at your home uh, network equipments the home router uh, you will be able to see that if you are having a fiber optic connection uh, you'll be having two boxes two similar boxes like this and uh, you must be having one thick cable coming to your home which gets terminated in a big black box and from that big black box you will be having two yolo cables like like this one coming and getting connected to is a small switch like device and from that switch like device one rj45 connector and a twisted pair cable is coming out which gets connected to your wi-fi access point or home router directly so let's now understand the function of these boxes so the black box uh, below uh, this blue box that you can see here that is a termination point for the optical fiber the optical fiber gets terminated there and from there it's split into two or four uh, uh, small, smaller pairs those are the uh, yellow cables that you can see and those yellow cables then gets connected to this small blue box this is called fiber optic converter so the main functionality of this fiber optic converter is to convert the optical signals to digital signal so that your PCs and other networking devices uh, could understand that. So from uh, the digital signal then transmit uh, then gets transmitted to your home wireless uh, network adapter or Wi-Fi adapter via this twisted pair cable or the LAN cable or with the RJ RJ45 connector. So this is a brief idea about all the cables and uh, do let me know if you would like uh, to have more details about the cables and connectors and if you have found this video useful please do like share and subscribe thank you for watching